Now let's look at how can we find the routing entry? How can we insert an entry into the routing table? Actually, we have three different type of generation of routing entry. First, we can use direct routes, and also we can use static routes. Finally, we can use dynamic routes. We later we will talk about this one by one. So first, let's look at what is direct routes. Actually, direct routes is automatically generated by a device and points to its local directly connected network. So for example, this network is locally connected to this router. So a direct route is inserted for this network and the router can go through this interface to this network. Similarly, this one is also directly connected. So they can go through this interface to this network. That is the two entries in this routing table. And if we have already have two entries of the routing table, and if one interface goes down, then the entry corresponding to this interface will be deleted. You see that here we have two entries. But here, if this one, the interface is down, then the corresponding entry disappears.